All right, guys, let's check out this Citizen Watch. I can keep this video pretty dang short, I think, really. But right away, there's a couple of colorways. This green one is awesome. I had a generous member of my Discord group donate this along with some other watches. And I have to say big thanks for sure. You know who you are. But uh, let's get right into this. This is called the BM7390-31X. I'll put a link in the description. They're kind of difficult to find right now, but I did find a black dial variant on Amazon. I can provide an Amazon affiliate link for that, and it was actually really cheap. So check that one out. Uh, you're going to expect to probably pay less than $300 Closer to like the 1 to 150 mark, really. And I think you get a lot of watch for that money. So 42 millimeter case, 48 lug to lug. You can see it's a really nice brushed case. And then you have this polished uh, relief here. And then you have brushed and a chamfer going up on this little bezel that's inserted. And then you have a mineral crystal that's set into that. It's only 11.2 millimeter thick, 20 millimeter lug width. So you can put whatever strap you want on this thing. But this strap is actually pretty dang good. It actually has a taper to it. It has riveted holes, so they'll last a long time. This is a very good pairing for sure. Six millimeter crown. It's a hundred meter water resist, so it's just a push-pull crown. You can pop it out and hack the movement, push it in, and uh, get it going again. But you have mostly green. If we zoom in on this, it's a really deep, dark military green with that stark white contrast on the hands and the printing. So you have the minutes going around the outside there. So it's very easy to grab the time on this thing for the minutes, uh, which is primarily what, I mean, you most people are going to know what hour you're in, or you can just use the hour hand in reference. You know that it's going to be about 824. Boom. It's super quick, guys, to get this thing. And then you have the date at the 3 o'clock. This one has an inner compass ring here. So you'd have to know how to use the compass with a standard three-handed watch. There are ways to do that. I think Mark at Long Island Watch has a really good video on that. As There's probably a few others. I'm not going to duplicate that because I never use it, so I don't know it right off the top of my head. But it is there if you want it. It doesn't rotate. You have to use it in an uh, old-fashioned way. Uh, the movement in this is called the E111. And if you look that up in the Citizen lineup, you're going to see day dates. You're going to see date. You're going to see a ton of different variations, and they're all really good watches, very similar to this one. So not something to sleep on, guys. These are really good, affordable watches. If you're looking for just a, a spare watch or maybe just a, a nicer watch that's still crazy affordable or maybe a gift, this would be a really good gift watch, I believe. Let me know what you think. And some of you guys probably already have these and have had it for a long time and can contest to how durable and, and uh, legible these are. You can see the second hand actually hits the marks. And I'll drop in a video at the very end what a low life indicator looks like. It'll like double or triple click. Um, you can, it can get its charge from uh, like the studio lights, uh, flashlight, or you can get one of those little solar chargers um, or just put it on your dash or on a windowsill in your house and it'll absorb the uh, natural light from the sun. Let's pop it on my wrist, seven and a quarter inch wrist so you can see what it looks like. If I can, there we go. This is, a, man, this strap is perfect for this watch too. So seven and a quarter inch wrist, 42 by 48 watch. Super legible, super comfortable, nice lightweight, stainless steel. They actually even have some titanium versions I was looking with this movement. Very intriguing. I might have to bring in some more citizens. Check out the loom on this too. The loom is very good on citizen watches of this nature. Well, it's good on the hour and minute hand. I was expecting actually the rest of it to be loomed up. So that's an epic fail. The previous citizen I just did of the diver, it was loomed up great. Uh, so missed opportunity on citizen there, but legit, like their loom is traditionally really good, that blue. It, I don't know why they didn't do the rest of the numbers with the loom. That's a bummer. Other than that, great watch. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.